Welcome to Sustainable Packaging Explained, your guide to sustainable materials, methods, and package design produced by the Emerging Brands Alliance in conjunction with Packaging World. Today's video is about compostable packaging and how it fits into a circular economy. As the consumer push for more sustainable packaging continues, consumer packaged goods brands are exploring options to improve their sustainability footprint. Packaging that is recyclable, made from PCR, biodegradable, reusable, and compostable are all getting attention. Compostable packaging is defined as packaging that is able to break down into carbon dioxide, water, and biomass within a specific time frame under specific conditions. This can mean either home compostable, at ambient temperatures and with a natural microbial community, or industrially compostable, under increased temperatures, humidity, and specifically formulated microbial conditions. Compostable material can be made from either bio-based or petrochemical inputs. For a package to truly be labeled as compostable, it is subject to certification standards in North America, Japan, and Europe. The benefit of using compostable packaging materials is that they are designed with a circular economy in mind. Compostable packaging helps divert waste from landfills. Made from plant-based renewable materials, compostable packaging also reduces our dependence on fossil fuels. Compared to plant-based materials, fossil fuel-based plastics stay on the planet for a long time. These toxic materials do not easily break down and the growing evidence of the presence of plastics throughout our ecosystem is enough to sway brands to try compostable packaging. In fact, according to Market Research Future, the compostable plastic packaging market was valued at $1.8 billion in 2022. The compostable plastic packaging industry is projected to grow from $1.89 billion in 2023 to $2.91 billion by 2032, exhibiting a compound annual growth rate of 5.5% during 2023 to 2032. Packaging World Editor Matt Reynolds tells us more about compostable packaging. In a vacuum, compostable packaging seems miraculous since it produces no waste, only soil. The problem that compostable packaging faces is that we have an entrenched plastics and fiber recycling system that we're trying to get consumers better acquainted with and to use more frequently. Compostable packaging introduces another category altogether, adding to consumer confusion, and when it's improperly disposed of, it will contaminate traditional plastics or fiber recycling streams. Most compostable packaging isn't backyard compostable, rather is industrially compostable, and infrastructure to process this packaging is sparse at the moment. So industrially compostable packaging won't get composted in regions without that infrastructure, and in fact serves as a potential contaminant to mechanical recycling. When it comes to sustainable packaging, the Freshlock team is your dedicated partner, committed to collaboration and innovation to meet your flexible packaging needs. That's why we designed the Freshlock 8000 series, a line of sustainable closures that target circularity and waste reduction. This includes product solutions certified for compostability. Whether you're looking for compostable, recyclable, or any combination of sustainable focuses, we're here to support you every step of the way. While there are known benefits, compostable packaging is not the perfect solution to the ongoing waste problem. One of the major drawbacks to compostable packaging is that industrial composting facilities are not currently widespread. In 2019, Biocycle.net estimated that in the U.S. there are fewer than 100 plants capable of processing certified packaging. Without the proper infrastructure to support compostable packaging, it oftentimes finds its way into the wrong streams, contaminating full batches of recycling and ultimately ending up in a landfill. But that's not to say that compostable packaging doesn't hold a whole lot of promise. I'd say that the greatest promise is in food contact use cases that don't require too much by way of barrier. For instance, in food service packaging that doesn't have to keep food intact on a shelf for very long. In a perfect world, compostable food service packaging like plates act almost like tortilla chips, where the food scraps and leftovers are the salsa, the welcome compostable food materials that add mineral and nutrient value to the soil and product. Compostable packaging will grow and scale, no doubt. But for now, look for tests and validation programs in closed loop locations like concert venues or sports arenas, where a collection of compostable materials can happen within a gated space and compostable packaging can't leak into the municipal waste recovery streams as a contaminant. The technology has great promise, but there are a few problems to solve as it scales. Compostable materials can perform well with many applications, but are ideal for food-based, non-toxic products that don't require high barrier requirements or an extra long shelf life. As always, it's important to do a life cycle analysis to determine if compostable packaging is the right solution for your product. 
Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on sustainability, packaging, and scaling operations.